Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to another Excel video. We're going to delve into histograms in today's video and adding a histogram chart from Excel. First of all, I'm going to give you a, a brief description on what a histogram chart is and then we look at how you can use Excel to create a histogram chart. But before we get stuck into this video, I do hope that you will subscribe to this channel. If you press the subscribe button now and hit the notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I also hope if you find this video useful, you'll give it the big thumbs up and share it across your social profiles. So if you're ready, let's talk about histograms and let's learn how to put a histogram chart into Excel. Histograms are often used to visualize central tendency. They're easy to understand and can tell you a lot about your data. The steps involved include grouping the data into bins and plotting the number of occurrences within that bin. To create a histogram, we must first group the data together in our bins. In our example here on the screen, we have a new bin for each 1%, starting at 21%, increasing to 27%. The values are placed in the bins and the count of each bin is then charted. If a histogram is symmetrical, so that means if it's cut in half and each half is the mirror image of each other, we can assume the mean to be the closest approximation of the center. If the histogram is not symmetrical, then the median should be used to approximate the center. If the data is left skewed on the histogram, so that means the thinner tail is on the left side, the mean is typically less than the median, and this is known as negatively skewed. If the data are skewed right on the histogram, so the thinner tail is to the right, then the mean is typically greater than the median, and this is known as positively skewed. Now we've seen in the descriptive statistics that a positive or negative value is returned. And behind the scenes, the analysis tool pack uses an Excel formula, formula skew, number one, number two, to give you the skewed value. So you can actually calculate the skew without looking at a histogram in Excel. But what we're going to do now is look at how we can create a histogram chart in Excel 2016 and later because these are new charts that were introduced in Excel 2016. We have some sample data here and what we have is a list of products and we have from product 1 all the way down to product 114 and for this we have the annual GP. And what we want to do is we want to be able to visualize the distribution of this data using a histogram. So in 2016 Excel and later versions, inserting histograms have become much easier. You no longer need to actually group your data into bins because it's kind of done for you in the interface. So let me show you how it can be done. If we go to insert, and under charts, we have this new chart here, our statistics charts, and we can insert a histogram straight from our statistics chart. Now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it. And we can see that this chart is skewed to the left, and we also have an outlier. Now what does it mean to be skewed to the left? Well, that means the curve is going the long tail of the curve is moving over towards the left of the chart. So it's negatively skewed. And when something is negatively, negatively skewed, then the mean is typically less than the median. With this chart, you can easily change if we click on our axis and select format axis. From in here, we can then, we have our bin width, we can select a bin width or we could choose the number of bins and I've changed it there to 10. Now you could change that to the number of bins, whatever number of bins that you want. Now you can have an overflow bin and an underflow bin. So that means leave out anything that's over or under certain amounts. 
That way you will exclude any outliers from the actual histogram and any calculations done from the histogram. From here, changing the histogram is and the chart types, the chart elements is very much the same as working with normal charts in Excel. You have your chart element button over here. And in each option, you have the further options to go in and look at more options. So you can change your axis, your access title, your chart title, your data labels, grid lines, and your legends, all from within your chart elements. Also, you have your formatting ribbon. So you can format different sections of your chart and you have your design ribbon. So you can pick between different chart types as well that are available. So that's how you can quickly create a histogram in Excel 2016. In earlier versions of Excel, it wasn't as easy to create a histogram. You had to use the data analysis tool pack that is available. And in here, you would select histogram. Then it would look for your input range, but you would also have to have defined your bin range. So you'd have to create a separate column of data that contained your bin. So in this case, you could have it going up in percentages of maybe say five, and you could have a separate column and you'd link to that column. Other than that, it is very much the same. I'm just going to cancel out of that. So it was a little bit harder to create a histogram prior to Excel 2016. And now they've made it an awful lot more easy.